The NASCAR Cup Series this season already a couple of wins. This will be your second All-Star race. How about the 20-minute practice session? What do you want to get out of it? Get the nerves out of the way that I'm actually practicing for my first practice of an all-star race. Since it's, uh, yeah, it's so awesome to, to unveil Worldwide Express on our car for the first time. And I want race pace. I want, I want you know, 10 lap runs or something here. And uh, if our car's good enough, we'll do that. If not, we'll run five laps and we'll come work on it. Mike. Thanks, Vince. Now we're talking to the winners because the drivers trying to transfer in like Tyler Reddick are on the track right now. Now he's had a busy day, Xfinity race winner well, earlier today. I'll tell you what, he's bad fast. I've been watching him and his teammate actually made a pass on Austin Dillon in the three and drove off and left him. The eight car is fast, folks. Top of the board. Well, no surprise. They're fast every week. Yeah, they've got a couple of second place finishes, Mike. But Tyler told me this week, he said, we have got to figure out how to close the deal. But he's also had some track time. Just like you alluded to, he was on the racetrack. So obviously beating everybody to the punch on the, on the lap times was expected because he was on the track as of late just a few hours ago. But I'm telling you, Jones, Suarez, this open is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be interesting. You win a stage and you're in. So that's all you got to do. Just win one of these stages and then rely on them fans for that fourth one in. Eric Jones has been trading the top spot with Tyler Reddick ever since they dropped the green flag on this practice about four minutes ago. Daniel Suarez in the third spot. Justin State, uh, Haley, Ricky Stenhouse. Rest of the top ten. Busher, Custer, LaJoy, and the Dillon brothers. You know, Larry, as a crew chief, and just thinking about, you know, where we're going to be on the racetrack, obviously you see the uh, the compound, the traction compound on the outside. That's going to play a role in this race, just like it did in the Xfinity race. It was a, a really an awesome race last night, a truck race as well. Um, but way cooler all of a sudden, out of nowhere. It's been really hot the last couple of days, and now massively colder outside. Yeah, it's supposed to even get cooler tomorrow. But, you know, this track is fairly smooth, Clint. But I talked to a lot of crew chiefs today, and they said one concern that will keep us from just going off the chart aggressive with pulling the car down, the bumps in three and four seem like they're getting worse and worse every time we come here. So much so, I was watching a truck race last night, and you can see it on that res and on the outside of the racetrack. You could see where those bumps were going over that tunnel. Absolutely. Now, our cameramen are not only watching, they're also listening, and we're getting a report that Tyler Reddick may be shifting. Yeah, and if it would, it would be down in one and two. You know, obviously, tighter corner. You get down in that corner and, and, and slow your pace down if you can reach over. With this five-speed transmission, those gears are closer together. That enables these drivers on a mile-and-a-half track, even with the momentum and the speed that's uh, such at a track like Texas, you still might do that in one and two, Larry. Yeah, the corner.